Yo, what's good everybody? We are back with another video and today it's a very, very special sneaker test on the Puma Clyde Court Disrupt. If you have not seen the video where I explain the resurgence of Puma hoops, I suggest you go check that video out after you watch this one right here. But anyways, if you're new to my channel from my Wish videos or any of my other videos, yes, I do reviews on real shoes too. And for all those who say, oh, he only does fake shoes, oh, he plays around too much, shut the f where in the rule book of YouTube does it say that all sneaker reviews, all basketball videos have to be serious, like a matter of life or death? Relax, enjoy yourself. With all that being said, let's get into the review. Starting off with the looks and the initial thoughts of the shoe. These shoes are clean. In person, they're even better. They're on some Halloween pumpkin spice latte-ish for the fall. So I'm gonna call these the Halloween pumpkin spice latte-ish. Puma Clyde Court Disrupts. Looking at these on IG pics of the Puma athletes do not do this shoe justice. Puma re-upping the basketball department, they have to make the shoe loud and proud. When I was playing with these, everybody in the gym was looking at me, you know, because one, I'm a good looking dude, and, <laughs> and two, these shoes are super clean and loud. Some people don't like the look of the shoe, but for me, I love them, and I love the classic Puma logo right here. For me, it's a nice change from the usual Nike swoosh or Adidas three stripes or even UA. If you look at the shoe, it's more of a square, rectangular shoe. It's not as round like a normal basketball shoe. So you could say it's not as curvy or thick, which is a minus because everyone knows from my videos that we're all team thick. Of course, the shoe has the boost-like material covered in the translucent rubber. If you didn't know, Puma actually won in a court battle with Adidas where Adidas tried to prevent Puma from making shoes with a boost-like material. The material is actually thermoplastic polyurethane. Say that 10 times fast. Basically, it looks like styrofoam, but I have to admit, it is comfy. This shoe is either hit or miss with people. It's 50-50 whether they like the look or not of the shoe, but for me, I like it. For me, personally, I emailed Chief, and he said that these, in fact, are it. The looks in the initial thoughts grade of the shoe is 8 out of 10. Moving on to the size and the comfort of the shoe, the shoes fit big. I'm normally a size 10 to an 11, and I got a size 10, and these actually fit pretty big on me, so I suggest going a half size down. I mean, for some people, maybe even a full size down. Also, when you put it on, because it's a little bit big, there's a little bit space in the ankle area, which made upper lockdown a little bit loose but more on that in a minute these are very breathable with the knit upper and very comfortable with a puma boost as we'll call it for this video and it wasn't too cushioned where there wasn't any bounce either it was a very nice mixture of both the overall feel when you're in the shoe on the court is great the react capabilities are great in the shoe in my opinion overall the shoes are very comfy lightweight the size and comfort grade is a 7 out of 10 it definitely would have been higher if they fit true to size moving on to the traction well, I don't have many complaints about this shoe the traction is definitely where the shoe lacks the traction pattern is a modified version of the OG Puma Clyde's. Like I said earlier, it looks more like a lifestyle shoe. Kind of looks like the bottom of some boots or some Doc Martens. So I guess you could probably wear these in the snow. Like I said, the outsole and midsole are more square and not as rounded as a regular hoop shoe. So your cuts aren't as smooth. The translucent bottom definitely doesn't help the fact that the traction wasn't that good. You slide in this shoe a fair amount and they do not make a squeaky noise. And the shoe picks up a lot of dust if you can see that right here. So maybe future releases will have a different material like a gum bottom to combat the issue of a pretty bad traction. Traction rating is a 5 out of 10, still better than a lot of the fake shoes that I'd be getting. <laughs> Moving on to the materials of the shoe. Knit upper for flexibility and breathability, which is great in this shoe. Sometimes that's not so good in a shoe like the KD11s, but for this Puma Clyde Court Disrupt, it works. The padded collar and the external heel counter add durability and comfort and help with lockdown. While Puma's version of the Boost provides really good cushioning with a translucent rubber cupsole covering it. Overall, the shoe is very lightweight, provides great cushion, and absorbs impact really well while not taking away from explosion. Materials rating, I was really blown away with. It's a 9 out of 10. Moving on to the support and lockdown. These shoes support your feet and joints really well while not compromising on reaction. The ankles are also supported really well. The lower lockdown is solid with a knit forefoot. However, because these fit big, the upper lockdown is a little bit loose. But because lower lockdown was solid, overall lockdown wasn't really a big deal. Support and lockdown rating is a 7 out of 10. Moving on to the price, these retail for $120. For the first shoe, I thought the first shoe would be priced around $100, but I'm not mad at the $120 price tag. For what you get, is pretty solid. I would just really like to see traction improve for you to get more bang for your buck. Price grade is a 7 out of 10. Okay, overall, I was pleasantly surprised by this shoe. Puma is definitely making their comeback known with all their players being signed from number one overall pick DeAndre Ayton to veterans like Rudy Gay and Terry Rose. 
shoes here. With these being their first shoe, it's looking like Puma will be back for a while now. I would like to see a different shoe made specifically for the big man, wings, and guards. Because if you remember in the summer league, DeAndre Ayton had to actually hoop in Nikes because their Puma shoes for him weren't ready yet. So the overall rating is a 7.1 out of 10, but you know, you just round that to 7 out of 10. Damn, I'm really about to hoop in Pumas from now on. All right, yo, that concludes the video. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're here from the Wish videos and you want to see more of them, don't worry. I got more of those coming up, but you know, I got to mix in a few real shoes in there too. Watch my other videos in the playlist next to me up there and down there. Let me know what you think of the Puma Clyde Court Disrupt and will you be copying on October 11th. Until next time, man, hope you guys have a great weekend. We out. A Asian, Asian peace sign signifying to say bye and peace and sayonara.